Yeah, hello, I'm Wayne Berry, and I'm uh, pleased to introduce you to a gentleman who's on the Gold Coast in Australia, in Queensland, and his name is Peter Rowe, and his company is Profit Tune, and uh, we have a great deal of confidence in what the services are that Peter offers. So we've got about five minutes, Peter, just to uh, find out a little bit about you and uh, how you may be of service to our clients. Thank you very much, Wayne, and thank you, everyone. Um, we're essentially business improvement specialists. We work with people who own or manage businesses to improve the performance of those businesses, generally by improving the performance of our clients in terms of managing their business. Um, if you break down what we do, the first thing we'll do with any client is be really clear on their goals. And it's rather unusual. Sometimes we'll ask someone, you know, what are your goals for your business? And they give us a couple of motherhood phrases. Uh, they don't think about it that much. And when you dig down a bit, they are not that clear on their goals. So we find it's really useful to get someone focused absolutely on what it is they really want out of the business in the first place. It's not unusual to ask someone why they went into business in the first place and to have that person sort of look back and you can see them reaching back 10 years to try and remember what it is they had in mind at the time yeah. because they've been overcome by events. So clarifying goals in the first place. Transforming mindsets and motives. So looking at the way that people are looking at their business, their market, their clients, the things they do, their team, etc. And sometimes it's useful if you can just slip another lens in front of them. Not necessarily rose-coloured glasses, but certainly a more positive way of looking at things. And that can often make problems look smaller and solutions look easier and closer. And that obviously provides you with a fair bit of motivation as well. Without energy, you can't go anywhere. Yeah, and you're doing this completely objectively. It's a look from the outside. And uh, that, that's probably how you get clear on uh, and help your clients get clear on their goals. Yep, very much so. One of the things we have to guard against is that I've had many years in business. You can look at someone and a part of your brain can go, well, they should be. And as soon as you hear the word should in your own mind, you know you're on the wrong track. Mm. Um, we... we we're very careful about finding out what clients themselves really want and then clarifying that with them till we're, we're very, you know, we understand what they want and then giving them resources that will take them there a lot quicker and more certainly with more safety than they do on their own. So the, the third step in what, we, in what we do with clients is generally see what sort of new skills and knowledge they may require. That often uh, centres around marketing. Um, we do some sales training, but uh, generally we defer to an expert like yourself. Um, Thank you. We, <laughs> we, we certainly look at um, what they might be missing in terms of people management. We've just written a book on solving the people puzzle about how to attract rather than find really top class people, how to bring them into the business and use their passion, their talent, their intelligence to your advantage and to provide them with purpose and the ability to create a really interesting life for themselves while they add value for themselves and the company. So that's, that's very satisfying. Um, when you can give people different ways of looking at working with others that both empower them and their team. Peter, how, how do you work with people in other locations? Uh, you're based on the Gold Coast. Do you travel a lot in order to help your clients or do you use some internet technology, for example, as we do? Um, as we are now on Skype, uh, I've got clients in Northern Ireland. Uh, I've never met my client there. He was introduced to me by one of his dear friends who recognised that he was working himself to death. Uh, we had a little chat. And um, you know we were able to establish enough rapport with Skype. Uh, Skype did help getting face to face, I think. Um, and I've coached with him ever since on uh, on Skype. Um, I have another client in Alabama whom I work with on Skype as well. Um, so these days I've got clients all over Australia, particularly and some overseas. The majority of them I work with by phone or with Skype. I use internet tools such as GoToWebinar, which I find is a very good tool. Yes. When I want to share concepts and something visual as well as voice. Yep. Um, and I've got some clients locally who just like to come in because we make excellent coffee in the office and yeah. you know, we'll use the boardroom for coaching, etc. Peter, we've but, got 40 seconds yep. just to wrap up here now because I promised my clients not to make it any more than five minutes. Um, so I'm going to put on the screen how they can contact you if they would like to talk with you. We do coaching just like you do. We do it all around the world. We use uh, the internet. We use a very specialised software in our uh, sales coaching program. But uh, look, thank you for sharing those ideas with us. Uh, you seem to be a really e-business, easy to work with as well. And uh, my clients, I'm sure, will get value if they speak with you. So you have 10 seconds to wrap up. Okay, thank you. Clarifying goals is one thing. 
uh, transforming mindsets and motives is a necessary step and certainly equipping people with the skills and knowledge they need. But the most important thing we do is coach people.